Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. I am a member of the Yigit Beers 40k War Gamers Unification Group on Facebook. I'll pop a link in the description below. This is the place to get your fix of anything 40k related. Welcome, and this video today is about cheating how to how maybe as a community or or, or tournament organisers can uh, pretty much stop this uh, happening and eliminate uh, and reduce it, its frequency in games. Uh, it's a game people cheat. A cheat because they will, they need it. Uh, self affirmation, uh, the prize is too good. Uh, multitude of reasons, and that cheating comes in plenty of forms. I I experienced it firsthand at the LGT, and. It was dealt with pretty quickly, uh, but how do you stop a player who's got poor etiquette, cheats, turning up uh, event after event, and then ruining other people's multi a multitude of people's experiences well first of all if it's an itc event there should be a way and i'm sure reese and frontline gaming will will be looking into it uh, of putting up and flagging a player that has had yellow cards for or cheating or, or being disqualified from the uh, uh, a tournament for cheating uh, and that will go on his record and if there are multiple infractions in a year then maybe all TOs can have a look at that and decide whether they want that player in their tournaments and just really close down the availability of tournaments for which cheats us to go. Firstly, if you're not on BCP, uh, it makes it a bit more harder, but there are other ways you can set up a, uh, for those non-ITC, set up a uh, link uh, a little for TO forum and share names of people that have been yellow carded and disqualified from from a tournament so that others are aware and then if it if it happens again maybe a year tournament ban and I don't go for the naming and shaming of players because that is not not necessarily work, but and it doesn't help the players that have been cheated. It's counterproductive, I think. Uh, TOs have to in the rules pack. There should be an etiquette what we expect from players. And if you fail to comply with that, then it brings punishments and things like arguing with refs, yeah, as in any game. Referees, decision final, you might not like it, you, you might disagree with it. But it is where the final argument with them, waste of game time, it's Paul, Paul Sportsmanship, 
take it on the chin and get on with it. And if, if, it, if you find the player arguing with, or, with a uh, referee or TO, referees, TOs, you've got the card from them immediately. And say, no, we're not having that. Uh, it'll, it'll make people think twice about about a cheating, b b arguing uh, with tos and then refs, and it'll help. I think. It, Chess clock should be compulsory. I play a whole calmly and I will play with a clock every time, no matter what. And even if I'm not playing an all calmly, I will play with a chess clock. A, because I have no worries about how my time goes. B, it, it allows my opponent to know, know that I am going to do everything in my power to play the game in a timely manner. I, I had I had three three of my opponents at the LGT. They said they they were happy not to play on the clock be, because they could see that I bought movement trays and that I was going to do everything in, in my power to speed up the game where I could. But we play to with a chess clock anyway, so that I could. Uh, I mean, one of the games, I, uh, I still had seventeen minutes on the on the clock with five minutes to my my opponent had less than five minutes on the. Ooh, when we fin when we finish the game, so it's it's not a bad thing. It, it also shows that you're not trying to cheat or, or you're not trying to uh, slow play, it, which is a uh, an etiquette thing. It will also go towards that mindset of I'm not going to solo play. I'm going to make sure my opponent has fun, and we're going to play play to the uh, game to the letter of the, the rules. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been to, I, I was to, to a tournament where I wanted to put model on the piece of ter terrain. Yeah. And I could fit the models on the terrain. They stood on top. My opponent argued that they were Impassable terrain. We got a TO over. TO did, declared it as impassable terrain. So I can put them on there. But that's. Yeah, I disagreed with the TO because if it. Because personally, if I can fit something on a piece of terrain, it's not impassable. And that it's not one model and it wasn't precarious, it was but that's the TO's ruling. But I didn't I went with it. It's not it, this this time a ruling went against me. Next time it'll go maybe go in my favour. I've had ones in my go go in my favour before, so uh, 
I, I never argue. I, we call ref to T O or ref over. I accept their their ruling. It's quite simple. But they're the organisers. They're the referees. They have their interpretation of the rules and uh, and something is law. Doesn't matter what you think. That's it. Uh, as players, we can, as soon as if we get a feeling of somebody's cheating, report it to TOs, report it to referees. If it's a friendly game, just pick your stuff up and walk away. And if, uh, I think if we, you do that in a friendly game, if you, you're playing somebody and they cheat, you say, right, game over. You can never win. I'm packing my stuff up. I refuse to play you with you. Uh, um, we'll soon run out of people to play with, apart from the sounds, of course. Uh, it'd soon stop pretty quickly, I think. That's my thoughts. What are yours? I mean, comment below, see you, and, and discuss. I'd be quite interested to see, see any other ideas come up and, uh, and there may be something else we could, we could be done. Thank you for watching. If you been, have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded. I'm telling you, he didn't do anything wrong. Oh.